everybody and welcome to another episode of Adventures with Andy. Now that the holidays are over, I thought this would be a good time to launch a new feature here on the show that I like to call Gifts of Holidays Past. See, Chad loves to spoil me on holidays. Christmas, birthday, anniversary, for years until I convinced him to stop buying me Valentine's presents. Sometimes just for no reason whatsoever, which is awesome. But it means I've got a lot of stuff, a lot of crafting things that I wanted and I love, but I just haven't gotten around to using yet. For example, look what Jen got me for Christmas this year. Jacquard acid dyes and citric acid. And he got me a respirator a few months ago just because he found them in stock and knew that I'd been wanting one for when I got some of these. So yes, this year I get to expand my yarn dyeing past food coloring. But I said this is called Gifts of Holidays Past. And well, technically I got this on Christmas like two days ago from when I'm recording this. That's not far enough in the past. I'm talking about things like this. This is a KiwiCo Eureka crate to build your own electric pencil sharpener that Chad got me for Christmas in 2018. I've opened the box to look at what was inside, but I never got around to building this pencil sharpener. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to build this pencil sharpener for one, because it's about time I did it, and for two, because I don't actually have a pencil sharper and I really need one for when I'm doing sketching. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, so I've got everything out of the box. Um, it does not look like I'm going to need a screwdriver because this is what the little screws look like. They're little plastic, like, thumb screws. Um, I guess if I needed to tighten it down, it would use a, a hex wrench, an Allen wrench, but it's plastic, so I don't know how well that would go. Um, Apparently the one thing it says you need from home, scissors to open the plastic bags that things came in. I've already done that. I've got my construction mise en place going. I got my manual over here and let's see if I can put this together. Now, disclaimer, I don't know electronics. I've not done electronics. I put together a solar powered battery kit toy one time. Um, but yeah, that's about the extent of it for me. So I am not an expert on this. This is designed for somebody like me who knows nothing but wants to give it a shot. And Chad is standing here in the room with me because he's on vacation. He likes to hang out with me, but he is not going to help me with this. He has built computers before. He could probably do this very easily in no time flat, but he got it for me and he wants me to do it. So, and I'm going to do it. So that's what we're going to do. All right, first thing I need is this piece. Sorry, that was really loud. And apparently, I'm not sure which one of these. This one. I think. And I'm going to take this off here. And it goes. I'm guessing there is not a, a bottom top for this, so I'm just going to put it right here. I hope that's right. That's the worst that could go wrong, right? And now there are these little oval shaped ones that look like this that I need to put around here and line up with the edge of these notches. So I guess like it should probably be easier if I had it closer to me. Okay. 
They do peel back up again pretty easy and then stick back down. So that's good to know. All right, so that's done. And they say squish it down. So. This is just like soft foam. Next, I'm gonna need this, apparently. And it slides in. this that is a snug snug fit i'm telling you but it fit okay and then these want to go down here apparently now we'll put this over here to the side and i need this one next This again. If you've ever built Lego or put together IKEA furniture, this is very similar to that, although this actually does have words in the instruction manual to tell you what you're doing but it's a lot of pictures too. Okay, next page, cool. I finished two pages already, awesome. All right, so five. All right. This goes, okay, flip this over. I believe, Chad, did you say this was a switch? Mm -hmm. Chad says this is a switch. I don't know, it's just a part. That's a switch. It's you a switch. Push down on the middle there, at the other end. Huh? See the middle at the other end? Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, cool. Any contact? No contact, see? It clicks! Well, it's, you know, just the metal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just entertained just sitting here doing this. Click, click, click. Mm -hmm. All right. Back. There you go. <laughs> you get some extra Morse code. <laughs> and right now, y'all can see why we hire someone to do any electrical work in the house. There are certain adventures I do not undertake. Doing electrical work in the house is one of them. All right, so this goes not all the way through. It goes through. I'm supposed to do what now? Wires go through this hole. Oh, sure, the critical point where I don't know what I'm supposed to do. They just revert back to pictures. Okay, so I do this, like this. Okay, rinse it on top. But that's Okay, that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay, let's do it on top. It seems like it doesn't fit. Enough goes in the notch like this. Okay. I guess that's right. <clears throat> It just says rested on the top, so I guess this is right. Very, very unstable construction at this point. All right. Next up, I'm just going to set this over here to the side. I need one of these. I guess one of these. And it goes in the bottom here. And that goes here and here all the way, huh? 
Okay, it says to take this, slide it into these notches, and push it all the way, right? I'm going to try this a little different. Because it's, with this long piece here, it's really hard to get that in there. So we're going to see if I can get this this way, or if I'm just going to have to undo it. Okay, that looks good. Now I just have to do that five more times. bottom ones and it's like no I'm not going to go in I shall not be daunted <laughs> just a, oh man I hope I'm not putting these on upside down nope nope I'm good I'm good check make sure the switch and the wires come through the segment with the slots huh okay yeah that appears to be the case now zip tie it's a very critical precise step here the head has to point this way it goes through this hole the inner hole down through here. Apparently it's very important that the head points this way. I don't know why. Flip it over. And then Hearing the instructions. Zip. Four eyes. This is actually the most dangerous part. I can maim myself with scissors. Okay. It went flying, I found it. It's okay, it's okay. And apparently I do that again. Yes, this time the head points this way. I don't know why it's so critical that the head points a certain way, but apparently it is. It is something that they point out in the instructions, so I guess it matters. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chad's got an opinion on this. Why does it matter, Chad? 
Because it doesn't like work one way. Oh, okay. So if you had the head facing the wrong way, uh -huh. it wouldn't actually lock. It would just slide through and you could just reach and pull it right back out without any of the teeth catching. Oh shoot, I did this and then just realized. I don't have the wire up there though. I can fix it, I can fix it, mm -hmm. I can make it work. Apparently I distracted you. Oh, that's okay. I am easily distracted. You know me, you've met me. Am I doing okay so far? Mm -hmm. Okay. We both wear glasses, so our eyes are protected. <laughs> right. Cool, I got the first part done. Only left four more parts to go, but yes! I got part one done! Awesome! Oh, technically, it says flip back over. Now I've got part one done. So now I guess I can, nope, nope, can't set this aside, still need it. I need this. This looks significantly larger in the picture. And I need this. No, I don't need this yet. I need this. And this goes like this. Put this in here. Interesting. I didn't realize this. Didn't notice this before. Now, oh, if I get this, yeah, I can get this back out. The pencil sharpener is actually offset. It's not directly in the center. I don't know why. I'm sure they have a reason. They did say to make sure that um, this is not sideways. Like this, it's got to be like that. Blade faces out, not sideways. I don't know why that's going to affect anything, but I'm guessing it would. I would think it would spin, but I will. I'm not going to question, because I'm not an engineer. Step two of part B. I now take this. Put it over this. There's a little slot down here in the bottom that fits this peg here. I just have to put the fit on. And then push down all the way. Hmm. Okay, that's... Ah, oh, there we go. One of the zip ties was in the way. Okay. I don't know if you can see, but I can't see any daylight between the bottom of this plastic fitting and the wood base. I cannot see the little metal shaft from the, the motor sticking out. Yeah, so I'm guessing that's down all the way. We are hoping it is. If not, we'll be troubleshooting later. All right, now I can set this aside. Next up, I need these funky pieces. Honestly, Paul, this is the hardest part of it is figuring out which of these little foam stickies you need because they're all black on a black sheet. <laughs> and it's just a little tiny picture in the instructions to show you which one it is you need. And they go there and there, lined up with the edges. So the first one is going to go right here. Okay. 
I don't know if you can hear the birds, but it is late December and we of course have birds. There, very happy out there. Chad keeps filling the bird feeder, not only for the birds, but because we still have Annabelle Lee of the, the mom of the Poe kittens and She's out in the main part of the house right now. The kittens are all adopted and she is just here with us until she gets adopted herself and she likes to watch the birds. That's her thing. Get petted by people and watch the birds. Okay, this hangs out over the edge a little bit. Hopefully that's not a problem because it lines up on all the other edges. And this one, not only do you line up to the bottom of this notch, but you line up to the bottom of this edge here. Kind of like with this one, how it line, well, it's supposed to line up to the, that edge there. One done. Now the next one. Now one of them gets done that way, and the other one gets done this way. So they're not done identical. And this one over here. Okay, so it's these two together. Oh, now there's a very specific foam PC. Right, looks like this, and have little dots in it that I'm supposed to. Looks like this, and it goes here. Now, this comes back over here. All right, so this is gonna go here and this is gonna slide in here. Come on. You can do it, you can do it. So off camera, as I was fighting with this, there was this gentle little tap on my elbow and I look up and Chad is just shaking his head, just slightly. So I took it from here, looked at the instructions, like, oh, put it in here, and he nods. What was the difference? Um, the foam sticky part supposed to be on the inside, apparently. figured out I had them wrong after I put everything in the other and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah, sure. Probably not. Wow, that is tight close together. So much more so than it looks in the picture. And it specifically says to push gently from the bottom because if you don't, you will probably break this wooden piece and this one is not in the way, is it? It is, it is. Okay. Next step, I need these three little pieces that look like either M's or E's or threes or W's, depending on your perspective. And they go in these little slots here. I'm 
this switch, I guess it's kind of a little bit from there, line up the holes. Yes, I know. What do you know? He, he's over here going, I'm like, yes, I know. I've got this upside down. I'm going to take this out and this out just to give myself a little bit more wiggle room. Okay, that's good right there. Now I'm going to hold this and put that piece in. Come on, work with me. You know you want to work with me. Come on. There we go. Yes. All right. So that actually worked better to position it first, then squeeze to hold it together, and then put this piece in. Because otherwise, you're trying to, to maneuver this around to be able to line up the little bitty holes in the switch with the little bitty holes in the wood. And that's really hard to do. And once it's in there, it's in there pretty snug. So moving it around, it's not so easy. So that worked a little bit better doing it that way. All right. Next step, back to our zip ties. From here. I guess this is when I find out if I've actually got the holes lined up properly. <laughs> Oh, that is snug. Okay. And then through here. with Andy. <laughs> it's always an adventure, isn't it? Yep. Okay, now step 10 is this. Goes I'm very specific about this because I think because it's such a tight fit, you gotta go in through here and then down and then feed it to the inside of the little wooden legs here yeah awesome that's done part c now we add the battery battery pack and four batteries this is a part i have actually done before Theoretically, I can do this part. Oops. The easy part, I put one in backwards. Just yes, double check all your batteries. <laughs> Man. Oh, this is the easy part. I've done this before. I should be able to do this no problem, she says. I got the batteries in the battery pack. And now it's time to work on getting the battery pack attached to the sharpener. So... It is off, making sure I'm not. Not that the instructions say to do that, but I'm just college as. Switch faces down. So this is gonna go this way. And I need the large oval foam sticky. Let's 
So now I need to take this piece and attach it to the top of this one. But these, it's supposed to slide over these pieces, but stop halfway. We don't want to go all the way down. So. I guess that should be good. If I need to move it down further, I will. And now the battery pack. Oh, it would help if I had the position in the right direction. The foam faces the tube. And the wires come down through this hole. And the wires are supposed to go through these two wooden pieces. Oh, what was that noise? I hope everything's still okay. Ah, uh, I see why they said only take it halfway down. Okay. Okay, now this piece is going to go all the way down and it's going to go over these wooden bits right here. I'm gonna line it up with the notches. And come on. Stand up for this part so I can see what I am doing. And then slide this all the way down. Next, I need this piece. And again, another foam sticky. Again, we line this up. Edge and flip this over so that's on the bottom. Uh huh. And that's going to go through here to hold the battery pack in place. And now this one, okay, and this one has its own like. Looks just like it. Foam sticky. And it goes. And I guess all the wiring goes below this. To the next page and see for sure. Yes. So this goes in here, like so. Cool. All right, now I've got to wire it up. This is where I'm really out of my depth. I've put together wooden kits before, but not with wiring. All right, so they want me to flip this over. Blue to blue, red to red, black to black. It seems to be pretty straightforward. Okay, so blue. To blue. Black. So 
took black. Man, the blue ones went together so easy. There we go, the red one's in place. Now I just need to get the black ones together. Come on, you. All the way, you can do this. And the corners of these little plastic parts are really sharp. Oh, oh, did you start to go in? Did you just start to? Come on, you could, ah, yes, yes. Success! I shall not be daunted. And now what? Oh, I see. Hmm. Red to red, blue to blue, black to black. What are you wrong? Do you know what I did wrong? Just a suggestion. You turn the batteries off, battery pack off before. Oh! So let's try turning that on. And now flip the switch. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I just sat here taking this whole thing apart. You're welcome. <laughs> One of the many reasons I keep him around. I would be lost without this man, y'all. Okay. It works. I'm going to turn it off again. Remind me to turn it back on, y'all. Because I need more foam stickies. This one, it's going to hold. And this right here. Okay. And they've got little notches for the wires. The blue one goes. And the black one. Now we take. We're still not done with these foam stickies. And it goes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I jumped ahead of step. Okay, we're going to do steps out of order. Going off the rails. Living on the edge. All right. I'm going to put this right around here. Chad looks thoroughly unconcerned that I'm doing things out of order. Probably because he's done stuff like this so many times, he's like, it's not a big deal. Okay, right now, this one right here. Wouldn't it be easier to do it on the other one, though? Just thinking out loud. That goes there. This goes right in here. And there is a little slot. And then I have the holes. Okay. Put the screws in here. They tighten nicely without a screwdriver or an allen wrench, so that's good. And they're just plastic, so. I guess now this gets turned over. This goes on top. Okay, and we're done. So it says, turn it on, grab one of the pencils that came with the pack. All right, let's see if this works.
You can hear that poor little motor is crying so hard. But look, it works! That is a sharp, sharp pencil. Check it out! Awesome! I am so excited. <laughs> to empty it, just take this off. Dump it out. I'm not going to dump it on to my desk and I don't currently have a trash can in here. And then to change the batteries, just take that piece off. It does not actually tell you this in the instruction book and that's why I'm showing you how. And then pull this out. It is not the easiest. And then you can just slide this open get to your batteries and if you're like me and you're wondering well I don't know what these little holes were all about then you ponder that out loud and your husband just does this and you go oh I get it Okay. Anyway, I hope you had fun watching me put together this pencil sharpener kit that Chad got me for Christmas two years ago. I get to everything eventually. Make sure that you like the video if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything. You have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.